This is an exciting one. What is this? This is really heavy. This is the only place that I can like try clothes on. This is the men's one. Men's are this. Giving. I stole it from my boyfriend that doesn't exist. Boxer chicken vibes. I reckon this bag would be just like the things that they couldn't get rid of. Welcome to my second Fukubukuro video. In this one, I'll be opening the more fashion ones. So I have a huge one from Azul by Musi, and it was 11,000 and it has 12 things in it. So I'm gonna go try those on as well. Then I have this small one from Latisse, which is like a hair accessory brand or just like accessories. It has jewelry in it, but praying for silver because I'm a silver girly. And this is an exciting one, Maison de Fleur, a brand of like coquette style cute Japanese French bags. And they have lots of ribbons and just cute purses and accessories. I I always like window shopping them because they have super cute collabs with like Sanrio, some with Gogorashi Disney, all that stuff. But I've never been able to justify buying a tote bag from them because it's like tote bags, you get them for free. But for the video, thank you for giving me a reason to spend money. <laughs> Alright, we'll start off with this one. It was 5,500. You were able to choose from different colors, and this is like the cheaper, more affordable bag. But I don't know why I started this video without getting scissors again. But even the gift bag is cute. Like, I want to save it for... Oh, can I even save it? We'll try. I'm going to open it carefully. I can save it for, like, next time I have to give a gift to someone. Trying as nicely as possible. Alright, so I chose the pink one. So it comes with three different things, I think. <gasps> Four different things. So the main one is the tote bag, which is like this. Oh wait, no, it's got like the French writing on it. And apparently it's like finding happiness if I were a flower. <laughs> a day of happiness with your loved one if I were a flower. But this is their most famous design, like as a bag. It says that this bag alone is worth 4,950. So the rest of the stuff is like free. Ooh, I should do the thing where like at the end I calculate how much I, I spent. Okay, yeah, on the end of this video. I'll tell you how much I spent and how much it was worth, so how much I saved. <laughs> this is a nice sturdy tote bag. It's like square shaped, if that makes sense. And it's nice and pink, which I don't have a tote bag of this color yet, so that's cute. And then we have the matching pochi, <laughs> matching pouch, same design, same color. It's like, oh, pencil case kind of, but like, oh, super cute little makeup bag. It's like kind of waterproof inside. This is 3,950. Already got my money's worth. <laughs> Love the little tag. It also says Mason de Fleur. This is cute. I'm going to use this as like a little makeup bag. I guess this would go inside the tote. The matching handkerchief, 1,490. Wow. Usually my budget for a handkerchief is like 700 yen. <laughs> oh, it's really nice and soft. Oh my God. This one's going to be precious. Really happy that I got this. Thank you to Alice. This wasn't on my radar until she said she was gonna get it. And last but not least is this clip. This one is 3,300. Whoa. I love that they're putting the prices on all of these. So cute. I was thinking like, would you be able to put this on your hair? But I don't think so. How do you open it? I'm a clip noob and I don't want to break it, but I assume you're supposed to clip it onto your tote bag like this. Oh, that's so cute. And then ta -da, put these two in the tote. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be like one of the girlies. <laughs> All together, this bag cost me this much and it's worth this much. So I saved this much for free. <laughs> On to Latisse, which is like a nice little affordable accessory shop. I try not to buy too much there because everything is so cute. Let's see what we got. This bag was 550 yen, so it was quite affordable, which is why I bought it. I hope good things happen to you. <laughs> oh no, I see gold already. Oh my god, it's so gold. Praying for silver because I'm a silver girly. Oh, a black headband. I mean, I can use this. I mean, maybe not right now. My hair is like not the best, but yeah, I can wear this. Oh, we got a oh, <laughs> a cow pattern silver necklace. I don't know which situation I'll be able to wear this. We'll keep this package for now, just in case I can re-gift. This was three hundred thirty. I reckon this bag would be just like the things that they couldn't get rid of. This is also three hundred thirty. It's a gold bangle. I mean, if this was silver, I would have loved it. Oh, there's this hair tie with a ribbon, but this is also like yellow. This is also three hundred thirty. So everything in Latisse, I think, is originally three thirty. A massive gold clip. Oh my gosh, also three thirty. Another gold clip. Oh my gosh, I wonder. If the lucky bag some of them would have had silver in it i guess i'm unlucky i mean i can't be happy with everything i got this is also 330 these are some clip-on earrings not my style i think having something heavy on my ear is something i'm really not used to i'm surprised there's so many things did i get another golden clip or maybe it was like two yeah it was two for 330 oh man one last thing i don't use clip-on piercings because i actually have my ears pierced no but you know what this looks like do you think this literally looks like this i don't know i think the latisse one was a if I could go back in time, I wouldn't buy this one because I'm not happy 
through with any of the things that I got. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, well, actually, I mean, I'll keep this. Never know when I'll need it. Or like when I'm washing my face and I'm lazy, I'll just be like... Onto the big one. I'm gonna move so I can like try things on. Hello and welcome to a new angle of my apartment. When I do the apartment tour, you'll finally see how small everything is. Okay, this is the only place that I can like try clothes on. Wow, this is not, not a very flattering angle, is it? Okay, I'm gonna try stuff on. Are we ready? Is this massive bag Azul by Moosey? To be honest, I've never bought anything from that brand before, so quite shocked that I bought this actually. And this is the men's one. This is the men's size S. The women's bags all sold out before I got there because I didn't line up for it. I didn't know it existed, but the line did get me intrigued. I saw the line and I was like, ooh, what are they lining up? <laughs> this was the very last one and I was intrigued. And then I did see some other women buy this bag. Staff was also saying like, oh, the men's stuff is cute. You can definitely wear everything. <laughs> Oh, it is really heavy though, like... So we'll see if she lied to me or not. I don't think they would lie to you about that. But yeah, she did say that everything is cute and the thing that she was wearing was also for men's. So yeah, let's see. I really hope I can at least wear one of them. Oh, I don't have scissors. Oh man, I have to get up. So this bag, size S, it costs 11,000, 10,000 plus tax. I don't know how much it's worth, but inside there's 12 items. So technically, if each thing is worth more than 1,000, it's good enough, right? I really hope it's not just like the leftovers from last year and that every bag is different because they didn't put any size, no information. Usually Lucky Bags will say like, oh, this is the main one piece that you get and then you get a bunch of other random stuff. So if you like the one thing, then at least you're happy with the one thing and then the others can be bonuses. But this, I have no idea if I'm going to like any of them. really hope it's not going to be like the Latisse one for the content guys okay we'll open this everything's wrapped so i don't really know but i see black which is good black is my color take out the brown one first right this is worth 5390 it's a hoodie brown is not my color should i this is the brown hoodie it's not ugly well actually i don't know you guys can tell me, does it look ugly? The fit of it though, it's giving like boxer chicken vibes. The hoodie is not hoodieing the way it should. Definitely a bit skinnier at the bottom and bulkier at the top. Stereotypical man's shape. I guess I could wear it at home. <sighs> Anyways, what is this? It has buttons on it. It says 6,500. What? Please don't be like men's pants. Oh my God, men's pants. Can you believe that I bought men's pants? But it's not a bad color, maybe We'll, we'll have to try it out. Don't look at my room. I know it's a mess. It doesn't fit. It does not fit. But in a way, it fits. You know what I mean? Highly unlikely that I will be wearing it. What is this? Is this a grey vest? Wait, I think I might like that. I don't have a grey vest yet. Oh wait, it's not a vest. It's a knit. It's a grey knit. Okay, I don't have a grey knit yet, so... Satisfied with this. It's giving my school uniform when I was in high school. This is also worth 6500 I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. I'm so new to making YouTube videos. Next we have, this looks like a black knit. Pretty nice material as well, so I'm happy with that. Is this the same thing? Oh, it's a different pattern though, but it's like zigzag. The arms, it's kind of boxy. What do you think? This is also 6,490. Next, oh, this one's a big one. What is this? Is this like a bomber jacket? It's worth 13,200. Whoa, I like that. It's massive. Is it a bomber jacket? Goodness, I already have a black bomber jacket. The sizing, oh wait, the sizing's actually good. Oh, it has like men's pockets. I feel like men's pockets are like, why are they all the way back here? Like girls' pockets are here. I'm all standing on my tiptoes. It's the sizing. Cute. I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, this. I think it's a grey knit as well. I think I'm supposed to get three bottoms though. I hope I can get like... Yeah, I'm not getting a skirt, it's men's. What was I thinking? This is another grey sweater, but it's like knit-ish. What does it say? Hope filled. Oh no! If I knew there was like cringe English, but yeah, I am full of hope. They're not wrong. I don't think this is my grey though. Where's my shopping booklet? Why don't I know where anything is these days? Oh, this is the last thing. So I only got one bottoms, which is good. I don't really want men's pants. But it's black as well. I'm happy that most of it is black and like not brown. Oh, is it a cardigan? Oh my gosh, I don't have a cardigan. Wait, oh my god, I'm actually satisfied with this. Yay! Okay, now let's go try it on. I feel so warm after doing this, even though it's literally winter. I don't have the heater on either. I think that's better. Yeah, that's kind of cute. 
It's so hard to show. Oh my god, I don't want to show you more of my place because I have a lot of stuff here. If you made it to the end, high five. I'm just finishing off editing the video and I forgot to film a conclusion and I didn't do all the calculations, so I'm doing it right now. I didn't count the Latisse one because it was all trash, but the other two bags, I paid 16,500 and what's inside of it was worth 61,430, which means I saved 44,930. Anyway, that's like the whole point of Fukubukuro. I do have one more Fukubukuro video coming out. I was planning to put them all in this one video, but I couldn't bear it. I can't edit for too long without uploading the video because otherwise it drives me crazy if you have any suggestions or want to see anything on my channel do let me know i'm excited to keep the momentum going for this year if you didn't see my last lucky bag video i'll put that here otherwise i'll see you in my next video or somewhere else on the internet